Yo, so here I am in the middle of nowhere in a small room, which looks a bit like this. Put cool angles on that. And this is where I've been sat both doing yokuru stuff uh, and meditating. And I'll make some music at some point, but I'm not sure when. I arrived in this room four days ago and it was as the result of a strong intention and the strong intention was to go to Sri Lanka and join a monastery for a while. Um, here I am, it's run by an amazing nun whose name I can't pronounce but I'll learn to pronounce tomorrow and then put it in tomorrow's recording and I've been doing these videos for a couple of weeks but this will be the first one that I've put out and it's a summary slash reflection slash just general documenting what is going on in life because I am I wouldn't even say trying to juggle I am figuring out how to do three things in addition to uh, an amazing relationship that I have with my girlfriend. And these three things are in no particular order, well, in some particular order, but not in particular order based on how I'm spending my time. The first one is waking up. I like to wake up. I like to reach enlightenment, understand nirvana, understand that everything's fabrication of mind, etc. But in the sense of the practical, pragmatic point of view, and you've probably stopped watch, watching at this point, that's cool. Um, because as soon as the phrase like enlightenment is mentioned, it's thought of as I mean, like, I do fit the, I do fit the description of kind of like kooky English guy with unkept hair, goes to monastery in Sri Lanka and talks about awakening. Cool. Yeah, we've seen that before. So that's number one. Uh, it's very much why I'm here. And I'll give more information on that at some point. But the second one is business stuff. Well, I actually, it doesn't matter the order. But second one is business stuff. Uh, I run a SaaS business, so software as a service business that I'll go into some numbers at some point and talk about what we do. But I started this when I was at uni, I studied engineering at Imperial, big up Imperial if you know. And hopefully you'll see in the course of these videos or hopefully it will become apparent that I'm very much trying to meet the scientific with the, with the qualitative with the quantitative. So how can I analytically let go and release stress in my brain? Uh, how can I, and whatever. So the second one is build a software business. I have books and stuff. So I was in America last week for an intensive training course and I got stuff like this, which is, um, Yeah, here we go. 16 steps to repeatable sales. This is the Bible. Well, probably wouldn't say it's the Bible, but it's holy scripture in terms of increasing your pipeline velocity and sales velocity. And so the second thing I'm trying to do, or second thing I'm doing, is building a software business. Uh, we have a really cool product. Started it four years ago with my bro and each day I get closer to making it successful. The third thing I'm doing is making music. And this is such a balance of expression of being me and blending the other parts of my life, which is an expression of being me. I'd like to, I've made a fair amount on Spotify I've made a release to fair amounts, it's on Spotify, I've got some music videos, um, I've got 
the hundreds and hundreds of songs I've made haven't released because I've been a noob or I just haven't I mean I'm going to actually the reasons why and my thought processes behind which aren't revelatory they're kind of just my honest thoughts and then I have very 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 exciting future uh, experiences up and coming for me musically new music coming out soon new gigs new performances new collaborations etc etc so i'm in this monastery i run a SaaS business and i make music and if you've known me if you've talked to me for the last three years or four years four and a half years i'm 27 now nothing has changed i've just dived deeper into each of these aspects so when i'm not doing one of them i'm doing the other one and reflection is so important because the faster i get at reflecting what's actually happening and what's working not what's not working the faster I can decide on what works. <laughs> so stupidly obvious. And therefore I can shorten my cycle times of hitting my head against a metaphorical wall or physical wall, depending on what I'm cycling on. So on psychedelic, psychedelic, psycho, psychedelics. <laughs> So, the other side of making these videos is in learning to explain stuff, I also improve my understanding. And the third reason is, I'm learning some really, 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 really cool shit. Really cool stuff. Like blending music with meditation with software businesses. It's sick. It's so sick to be doing this. And so I'm going to be sharing what I'm learning in all of these three aspects and most likely uh, my relationship with my girlfriend as well, because uh, that's something we actively spend time on improving. Much like if you go to the gym and you think about uh, what to do then it's the same with the relationship so that's it this is my first video i'll just be putting these out on youtube and kind of excited to see where this all takes me and unfolds so to future watchers and future wanderers if you're on this video in like 20 years time when i'm old and gray and got face tats it would just say, fuck. <laughs> yeah, when I got face tats, and you're like, what, is this, what did this guy look like before he started making heavy Siberian face tat blues music, or jazz music? And then this will be the video that reveals all. And if you're at the start of the journey, then we all are, and I hope... Yeah, enjoy. Peace.